Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training's LBO Leverage Buyout Overview course. Please note that these materials are copyrighted and may not be disseminated or reproduced for any reason without express written consent from Wall Street Training. Tender costs. These are basically uh, some of your more important expenses, definitions, and your accounting treatment. What are tender costs? Tender costs are what we would call the cost of tendering. Okay, that's very value added there, but basically it's a good guy premium for early repayment extinguishment of debt. Folks, what this means is that normally corporate bonds, etc., will not have a prepayment penalty for the vast majority of times. However, you have to instantaneously go back into the markets if you decide to refinance these existing debt. You have to instantaneously go back into the market and then borrow more money. So these institutional investors might be a little bit upset that now you're suddenly saying, well, hey, listen, sorry, folks, I'm taking out, I'm buying out, and you're going to lose that additional income now. And if interest rates have moved, then basically they may not get as much as what they had expected to get. Also, many times you will be required to refinance your debt upon a certain types of control changes, which is all dictated in the covenants to each specific debt agreement. If you have to do that, then you have to pay what we call tender costs. And these tender costs are the costs of buying back this, the debt. We, many times, again, you may not have to pay an explicit prepayment penalty, but to keep the institutional investors happy on the debt side, because you have to go back and tap into their capital right away when you do do the LBO, you basically want to say, okay, I will pay you out for the interest, the present value of the interest that you would have received if this were held to maturity, but because we're forcing a, a repayment on this, we're basically going to go ahead and we're going to give you a good guy premium so that we keep you happy. Money talks. So therefore, many times also, you will end up renegotiating on a select one-to-one -one basis on how to renegotiate that refinance debt. That's fine as well. But typically here, what we're saying is, the accounting treatment of this is expensed immediately. Why is this expensed immediately? You also have, by the way, accrued interest costs. So that's the cost of the interest that you have not yet paid, depending on if you're off cycle. Why is this expense immediately? Well, because the debt related to this is no longer outstanding. Debt is no longer outstanding. And if the debt is no longer outstanding upon a refi, if the debt is no longer outstanding, then the matching principle of accounting says, well, you have no more debt, you gotta expense it immediately. Transaction costs are fees incurred as part of the transaction, pretty straightforward, such as merger and acquisition, investment banking fees, legal fees, private equity fees, etc. For accounting purposes, this is considered part of the acquisition price. It flows through goodwill for purchase accounting. Again, transaction costs are considered part of acquisition price. In a purchase accounting scenario, which is the vast majority of LBOs, this will flow through the goodwill and increase to goodwill. Otherwise, if, for instance, in recap accounting or otherwise, this will be expensed immediately as well. Debt financing fees are fees paid to the banks for borrowing money. They will always charge you money to borrow. This is amortized over the life of the debt securities due to, once again, the matching principle of accounting. So this is a very basic overview of the th three major types of expenses and the accounting treatment. When we go into our complex leverage buyout modeling course, we will go into uh, this into a lot more detail as well as how this affects both the income statement, the balance sheet, as well as the sources and uses and the entire leverage buyout model.